Hello friends, today we will discuss questions of respiratory system. Some questions are repeated or sometimes the same question is asked in long question and short note. I also have included in the same manner so that you can prepare the same question to write as full question and short note. Long questions 1. Surfactant Definition, functions and clinical significance 2. Lung compliance 3. What is Heldens effect? Discuss the carriage of carbon dioxide in blood and lungs 4. Describe the physiology of control of respiration 5. Regulation of respiration 6. Discuss nervous regulation of respiration 7. Discuss chemical regulation of respiration 8. Define and classify hypoxia Describe hypoxic hypoxia 9. Describe Cajun's disease Short notes 1. Non respiratory functions of lung 2. Metabolic and endocrine functions of lungs 3. Mechanism of breathing or mechanism of inspiration and expiration 4. Mechanics of respiration 5. Respiratory membrane 6. Intrapleural pressure 7. Transpulmonary pressure 8. Respiratory Muscles 9. Define the process of spirometry and draw a label diagram of findings of spirometry. 10. Lung Volumes and Capacities 11. Draw the diagram of lung volumes and capacities and label it. 12. Functional Residual Capacity 13. Vital Capacity 14. Timed Vital Capacity 15. Clinical Significance of Timed Vital Capacity 16. FEV1 Forced Expiratory Volume 1 17. Lung Surfactant or Pulmonary Surfactant 18. Role of Surfactant in Lungs 19. Lung Compliance 20. Pulmonary Circulation 21. Alveolar Air 22. Alveolar ventilation 23. Dead space 24. Dead space air 25. Normal dead space volume and its measurement in human 26. Ventilation perfusion ratio 27. Oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve 28. Factors affecting oxygen dissociation curve 29. Oxygen transport in blood 30. Bose effect 31. Fetal hemoglobin 32. Carbon dioxide dissociation curve 33. Transport of carbon dioxide in body 34. Carbamino compounds 35. Heldens effect 36. Explain Hamburger's phenomena 37. Chloride shift 38. Respiratory centers 39. Chemoreceptors 40. Pneumotaxic centers 41. Name respiratory centers and describe chemoreceptors 42. Role of respiratory centers in regulation of respiration 43. Neural or nervous regulation of respiration 44. Chemical regulation of respiration 45. Respiratory chemoreceptors 46. Peripheral chemoreceptor system for control of respiration. 47. Herring Brewer reflex. 48. Herring Brewer reflex and its clinical significance. 49. Hypoxia. 50. Hypoxic hypoxia. 51. Classification of hypoxia. 52. Types of hypoxia and role of oxygen therapy. 53. Cyanosis. 54. Asphyxia 55. Define asphyxia Describe various stages of asphyxia 56. Periodic breathing 57. Mountain sickness 58. Acclimatization to high altitude 
59 acclimatization in residents of high altitude 60 dysbarism or cajuns disease or decompression sickness 61 pathophysiology of cajuns disease 62 acclimatization to high altitude 63 respiratory adjustment or changes during exercise 64 oxygen depth 65 fetal respiration next is applied physiology questions enumerate surface tension lowering substances in body discuss the formation and functions 2 respiratory distress syndrome 3 physiological basis of increased compliance in emphysema 4 physiological basis of assisted ventilation 5 modern methods of artificial respiration 6 mechanical methods of artificial respiration 7 pulmonary function test 8 compensatory mechanisms of acclimatization 9 effects of high altitude on respiration and cardiovascular system 10 mountain sickness 11 acute mountain sickness 12 ventilatory changes during exercise give reasons in 2 to 3 sentences or one mark questions 1 respiratory cycles 2 enumerate muscles of inspiration 3 normal and quiet expiration is a passive act 4 lung compliance is increased in emphysema 5 lung alveoli do not collapse during expiration 6 lack of surfactant in lung alveoli can reduce collapse of lung alveoli 7 surfactant is important at birth 8 respiratory distress syndrome occurs in premature babies 9 premature babies and maternal diabetes are at a higher risk of respiratory distress syndrome 10 normally there is slow replacement of alveolar air by atmospheric air 11 right ventricular systolic pressure is reason of dryness in the lungs 12 lung alveoli are kept dry normally 13 pulmonary circulation acts as a filter 14 phrenic now arises from cervical segments 15 why intrapleural pressure is normally negative or sub atmospheric 16 define vital capacity 17 vital capacity decreases in supine position 18 vital capacity is posture dependent test 19 vital capacity is single most important pulmonary function measurement 20 timed vital capacity 21 fev1 and vital capacity differentiate between restrictive and obstructive lung diseases 22 functional residual capacity 23 residual volume 24 functional significance of residual volume 25 what is respiratory minute volume 26 alveolar ventilation is less than respiratory minute volume 27 what is maximum ventilator volume 28 what is the shape of oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve 29 dead spaces in the respiratory tract are considered as wasted ventilation 30 alveolar air differs from atmospheric air 31 rapid shallow breathing produces much less alveolar ventilation than deep slow breathing at the same respiratory minute volume 32 define cyanosis 33 in severe anemia cyanosis is not developed 34 central versus peripheral cyanosis 35 break point occurs after holding breath for some time 36 breath holding time increases after hypoventilation 37 abnormality of respiration is known as periodic breathing 38 what is bard's breathing 39 chinstock breathing 40 
why diffusion capacity of lung increases in exercise. 41. In emphysema, the ventilation perfusion ratio is reduced. 42. Herring brewer reflex is a lung protective reflex. 43. Oxygen hemoglobin dissociation curve is sigmoid shaped. 44. Increased 2,3 dpg reduces affinity for oxygen with hemoglobin. 45. Fetal hemoglobin. 46. Heldens effect. 47. Effect of increase in CO2 on respiratory rate. 48. Venous RBCs are fragile than arterial RBCs. 49. Hematocrit of venous blood is more than arterial blood. 50. Chloride shift occurs in tissue capillaries. 51. In erect posture, apex of the lung is least supplied by blood. 52. Voluntary apnea leads to hyperapnea. 53. Respiration is depressed after hyperventilation. 54. Deep sea divers cannot come to surface quickly. 55. Dead space air is physiologically important. 56. Anatomical dead space is physiologically important. 57. What is dead space volume? 58. In histotoxic hypoxia, the oxygen therapy is of no use at all. 59. Polycythemia occurs at high altitude. 60. Ventilation perfusion ratio. 61. Abnormal ventilation perfusion ratio exists in normal lungs. 62. Deep sea divers should be brought to surface slowly. 63. Disbarism produces muscle cramps. 64. Increase in the packed cell volume occurs at high altitude. 65. Mountaineries suffer respiratory distress beyond 5000 meters altitude. 66. Increase in pulmonary ventilation occurs at high altitude. 67. RBC count increases at high altitude. 68. A person who remains at high altitude develops chronic mountain sickness. 69. Hyperventilation continues after exercise. 70. Give the reason of ear ac in severe common cold. 71. What is meant by orthopnea and tachypnea? 72. What is dyspnea? 73. Dysnic index. 74. What is asphyxia? 75. Emphysema and types of acidosis. 76. A person in an orbiting satellite experiences weightlessness. 77. In sudden ascent of fighter plane, a pilot sometimes loses consciousness. That's all. Thank you.